All right, let's do another example. So 2 secant squared is equal to 1 over 1 plus sine x plus 1 over 1 minus sine x. So another technique is to, um, uh, or another kind of, I don't know, a rule or something like that, is to look at where you are going. So in other words, uh, the right hand side looks like the more complicated side. And I've got sine x's everywhere, but where I'm going, I don't have sine x's. In fact, I have secants, which is related to cosine. So I know eventually I have to get rid of sines and have cosines on the right side, because I can turn cosines into secants. I also notice that because there's a plus here, that means I've got two terms. Over on the left hand side where I'm going, I have one term. So I know I have to add these two together on the right hand side in order to get one term. So to add them together, I need a common denominator. And I notice that when I look at these denominators right here, I notice that they're already uh, conjugates of each other. So I'm going to use the technique that I did in the last video and I'm going to multiply by conjugates, but I'm going to multiply each one of those by its own conjugate. So this is going to look like 1 minus sine x over 1 minus sine x. And we still have the original 1 over 1 plus, oops, 1 plus sine x. I'm going to add that to 1 over 1 minus sine x multiply that uh, fraction by its conjugate. 1 plus sine x over 1 plus sine x. Alright, so in the numerator um, I just get 1 minus sine x because that's multiplied by 1 here. And in the denominator, well we did this in the last video, so you can FOIL that out. You're going to end up with 1 minus sine squared, and then this other term is going to be 1 plus sine x all over the same denominator, 1 minus sine squared. Now i got a common denominator so I can add them together, and as I do that I'm going to drop the parentheses on the top. So I have 1 minus sine x plus 1 plus sine x, that's all in the numerator, and then the denominator is 1 minus sine squared. Alright, so in the numerator I can see I've got a 1 plus 1 is a 2, and I can see that this minus sine x plus sine x, but well those two things cancel with each other. And then in the denominator I can make a substitution there, just like we did in the last video. I can substitute cosine squared in the denominator. And then, for the last step, I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to move it over here and pretend that, I'm con pretend that I'm continuing down this way. So I can think of this as a 2, um, let's do it a different way. I can think of this as a 2 over 1 times a 1 over cosine squared, right? And so I can keep the 2, but then 1 over cosine squared becomes secant squared. And then, of course, if this was back down at the bottom, you would draw your line this way with an arrow and showing that you have completed